My wife says I'm always on the phone, so she's informed me that we're leaving our mobiles at home this weekend right after she finishes playing Candy Crush. How hard can spending a weekend without phones in the Robin Hood's Bay Area in North Yorkshire really be? I'm Andy and this is my wife Claire. We travel the UK and Europe in our DIY camper van St. Christopher of Atlantis along with our dog Pablo. If you've been following our journey, you'll know that Pablo is feeling much better so we can continue our Yorkshire tour. This week, we have come to Caton Village Club campsite in the Caton Bay area of North Yorkshire. We will be visiting the picturesque town of Robin Hood's Bay and some secret places that many miss when in the area. Claire's decided to become a marriage project manager this week, so not only will I have to spend the weekend without a phone in order to re connect with each other i also have to make sandwiches for a secluded walk later in our trip the only thing i'm concerned with reconnecting with is my spanish language app which i've got a 535 day streak on it only takes two minutes a day to do but claire says that i'm being childish and she's having none of it Vaughn stays at home i'm going to show you how to make a really good sandwich it's the nation's favorite it's ham and um cheese so where's your phone well, you said that I can't have my phone. We're having a weekend with no phones. I think it's a daft idea, me. Why? Because are we confident we can get to Scarborough without a phone? We use this phone for everything. We've been to Scarborough a thousand million times. We can figure it out. Can't we? We can wing it. What you need, first of all, is some good quality bread, good quality cheese, got some ham. Claire's a bit baddie over ham. So she's chosen this, it's Tesco's finest. Burning money. We need some good butter. We need some mayo. We need some mustard. I've got some brown sauce. And I've got some small chunk pickle squeezable. Oh yeah, baby. What would you have done when you were 20? You'd have just- Not gone to Scarborough. Well, I looked it up this morning on the map. So what? <laughs> what road do I need to go on then? So you go, um, to the M1. Yeah. We go north and then we follow the signs. I think it says A64 to Scarborough. Look at that. Any good sandwich starts with good quality bread. So first step, let's get some nice clean cuts of the bread. Really important that you cut it nice and evenly, otherwise it ruins the, the quality of the, the finished result. What about paying for things? I use Apple Pay. I've got property cards. What about my Duolingo? I've got a big streak on that. Well, that doesn't matter, does it? Does that matter? How many days is your, is your streak? I've got a 325 day streak. You've been doing it that long? Yeah. But your spice isn't that good. It is, why not? <laughs> so then what we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of butter on using my butter knife. So, as I say, this is a really good knife for butter. It's a posh one, it's what they use in restaurants. Much or bueno? Yeah, very good. Uno dos. Tomat. <laughs> Quavo. What? Quavo. Is it egg or butter? I'm not sure. I thought you were good at this. I about you, but I like to do both sides. Ooh. Both sides. Bit of butter on both sides. A few extra calories, but it's a treat. What is it you know? Because you've been doing it for 300 and odd it's days. egg. Quavo's egg. Yeah, I was close. Man tequila. That's butter. Man tequila. Yeah. I like to lay the ham up first. Bit of this. I push that in a bit. Like that. Anyway, it. listen, I think it's going to be good for us so just to get back into nature, into the van. I'm glad I'm back in van. And I'm also glad that Pabba's is feeling better. So if you watched last week's video then you'll know that he's not been well but he's a lot better now one thing that we forgot to mention mm. in last week's video is what's actually wrong with him so he had something called puppy strangles yeah that's the diagnosis we've only just found that out though we didn't know last week did we no when the video went out we didn't know exactly what it was 
But puppy strangles is a rare disease and it's basically his body attacked itself. Yeah. And it's in you. juvenile dogs. Yeah. So it's quite rare for a dog that's one to have puppy strangles, hence the puppy. Yeah. Part of it. So he's got some steroids. Yeah, he's like Schwarzenegger now. And then we get some of the best cheese. This is a British cheese. It's really good. Good quality cheese. Don't get any cheap stuff. This is uh, the number four. That means it's good. Pure muscle is an absolute unit. Yeah. It's getting stronger. <laughs> <laughs> the delay in that, that laugh there. <laughs> Delaying your humour. At least I've got some. <laughs> when was the last time you had no phone? Never. When I was about eight. Yeah. Well, somebody needs to ring me. Nobody really needs to ring you, do they? I get rung all the time for all sorts of stuff. Not like really. nightclub appearances. Not a long what if time somebody can't make it from Love Island? Who are they <laughs> going to be? I, I usually ring me. They're going to ring Peppers now. He's got these muscles. Uh, and then you want to like bind it all together. This is uh, American mustard. Bit of that. Bit of mayo. Morrison's mayo, let's have a bit of that on. We could do look-alike circuit pabbers. You could do Rod Hull and Emu, you and Pabs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what was he called with Spit the Dog? Bob Carroll G's. <laughs> have to so get rid of it. You're a bit similar to him. Yeah, yeah, and you, <laughs> and you like Spit the Dog. <laughs> We've had an interesting week, people uh, offering to sponsor us, haven't we? Yeah, but probably... Well, they wouldn't actually say what it, what it was. No, they did. I found out. Oh, what was it? It was, um, like, a, a car navigation, car play thing. Right. So what would they do? Fit it in the car, you mean, or...? Put it in here. And then it directs us. To be fair, could have done with it. Oh, yeah. Seeing as you point. put a form ban on. I don't mind a bit of this. I'll have a bit of this. Spit it out a bit. That other thing is, I don't know if you've got the same problem in your house, but there's all, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you gotta wash this, keep this clean, do that. Honestly, I lived on my own before I knew Claire. I never were ill, never were ill. I didn't have to have loads of shopping. I didn't have to have cupboards full of stuff. What I'd do, I'd have one knife and I'd just use that all week. I never had to wash it up. I think she's going to have me, actually. i best give this a rinse. <laughs> so you what, this weather's horrible. Yeah, we're going to have to walk out for our tea tonight as well. You might have to. I might, I might get a takeaway. Deliver who? Deliver you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's two pubs in this village. One, one four in a bed. Mm -hmm. But that's a posh one and dogs can't go in that one. Oh, the other brilliant. One, the other one, dogs can go in. Oh, yeah. Well... Imagine that, it won't fall in a bed. Well, I'll let you know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> God's sake. So we're at Caton Bay Camping and Motorhome Club campsite. It looks quite big. Quite excited. We've got um, a hard standing pitch with electric. I think it was £34.50, which, which is half the price of some of the sites we've stayed at. Uh, we're quite close to the entrance. It's quite quiet, very nice. There's some nice Adrias. 
I can look at in the morning. Apparently the pub's 10 minutes away, one way, and the beach is 10 minutes away, the other way. All right, so you brought us to this pub then, and what's happened? Well, at half past seven, food finishes. So we got a bag of crisps for tonight then? Yeah, the frustrating thing is a couple, the lady in front of me, she ought to serve them. She said that it's too late for us. So if we'd have had us phones with us, then we'd have known that yeah. they stopped serving at 7.30, wouldn't they? 7.33 as well, wasn't it? Was it? I don't know what time it is, we've got a phone. Anyway, one app of tea. So you've got no phone, no tea. No phone, no tea. Would you like a hot chocolate? Yes, I'd love a hot chocolate, would you? Yeah, baby. It's toasted. See what the hot chocolate's like. Good night. Right then, so we've got up really early. We've come down to the Salty Dog for a little walk round. There's nobody here, everything's shut. You can't get anything to eat, can you? No. Nope. The only people that are here, three women that have gone into water. <laughs> they look really happy though. They look really they? happy. This is Caton Bay. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the best beaches that you can come to, yeah. I think, on, on Yorkshire coast. Mm. They do a surf school. And dogs are allowed all year round. All year round. So there you go, so we're gonna carry on with our massive adventure today, so let's get going. I'm gonna do one of these amazing transitions that people do. <laughs> get ready for it, you ready? Amazing transition.
We've made it to Robin Hood's Bay, so we're going to have a look around. Apparently, it's a massive hill. That's what you it's say. It's a big hill, yeah. <laughs> it's just a big hill. Let's see if Robin Hood's Bay is more than just a big hill. The fish box. No, it's just the way I'm walking. All these little side streets, isn't there? So one thing that I am discovering... Yes. ...is that, like you, there's a lot of huffing and puffing going off in Robin Hood's Bay. But you've got all these lovely little scenes. It's nice and pink, that, isn't it? It's lovely. And these are all people where people are staying or where they live and we're just stood outside here. <laughs> Sad, waking them up. <laughs> Good morning! Claire with her friends. Little doggy shop. Is it? Yeah. Doggy coats and leads and things. Look at that, an old fish shop. We'll see that Can I get some cockles? I do not. Look at them. Do you remember having them? Fishing nets. Yeah, I do. Berties of the bay. Let's have a look. British unisex. What's that mean? I think it's when you go to college. You meet people. That's really pretty look. We can sit and have our breakfast outside the little cottage. And talking about breakfast, remember we've had nothing to eat. We've had nothing to eat since. We've had nothing to eat since lunchtime. yesterday morning. Fasting. You're good it's at fasting, fa aren't it's you? It's not fasting because we had Nobby's nuts. This is it. I'm not playing this fasting game anymore. Sea views and super coffee. It's That's, open. Is it open? Well, the signs are out. It does shut though. Yeah, this could be it. Is it open? You'll have to go down to the beach and come back. We are really. The hunt for food continues. Hey, guess what? What? If we'd have had this phone, we could see who were open when. Let's just embrace life, Andrew. Where do I sign up for this then? I bet they've had the breakfast and tea. What time's it open? Yeah. I can't see it. Can't read it. So the Bay Hotel, but that doesn't open while 12 for food. Never been as hungry. So we reached the bottom. What do you think to Robin Hood's Bay with the being a big hill? Well, you say we're just a big hill. I think it looks quite nice, actually. It's a pretty hill. It's a pretty hill, but the only thing is, is that we can't find anywhere to eat, and I am so hungry, and we don't know <sighs> what time things open. No, but we'll walk back up and find somewhere. It's a really pretty hill. It's quite busy now. It's half past nine. The sea's out. Sun's out. Gun's out. Here we go. It's Barnsley really boy might have, to, might have to take top off in a bit. It's not that warm. If it's 12 and over, that's it, isn't it? 12 degrees. That's the Barnsley mantra. 12 degrees, top comes off. Right, oh gosh. This is it. It's open. Finally, breakfast is served. And just look at it. <laughs> oh my God, even Pablo's got some. Look, my uh, hash brown's got brown sauce sunglasses on them. <laughs> it's like that emoji. I could eat that again. I wonder how clean this ball is. Why? Well, there's only little Pablo, I could have that. Really? It's Pablo's sausage. Pablo. Thank you. Yeah. Smallest place I've ever been in. That's where that wine gun went, I told Claire. You think, Didn't know you were in a museum, babe. Do you think that's real? No. Shame that nothing's open. Look at this little velociraptor. I know it's a cast, but isn't it cute? But they were quite sparky then, weren't they, velociraptors? Oh, they were. I've seen them on Jurassic Park. I know. Tell you what, you won't mess with a villa. Quite small, though. Velociraptor.
Do you think I've got style? I should see Jim Bell's style. <laughs> I never said you got style. Here's me thinking we cut that massive villa out, we aren't, have we? No. Yeah. I wonder why they've put a laurel tree there. Good place for a shop, this. Because you stop, don't you, to rest? Yeah. Claire don't like to use steps. Pablo wants to, though. Why are you not using steps? Don't need them. Pablo's had enough. You'll be getting him a papoose in a bit. Get him one you? of them dog prams. Jack's heart. Wonder when he's back. Don't know if you saw in comments this week, people were saying they were like Action Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's living up to hype. Did you run up the hill? Hmm? Did you run up? Yeah, I've been running, yeah. Run up to it, I'm gonna have a rest now though. Okay, so we're back Ooh. at the van. What do you up think? Up the hill, up the hill. What do you think to Robin's Bay then? Is it like everything that you remembered? It's a big steep hill with things at the bottom, ah, but um, it's, it's more a, than that. I think it's, it's a really beautiful. lovely hill. So onwards and upwards to our next location. Ooh, where could it be? Where could it be? Where is it, Andrew? Stay tuned. So we've come to a place called Wyburn Hake. Or... Hayburn Wyke? If we had these phones, we'd be able to tell you. We think it might be Hayburn Wyke, but here we are. We've come to this lovely little place. There's actually a pub or a car park. And if you're not staying at the pub or eating at the pub, you can use this car park. You just got to pay a pound an hour or five pound all day. Okay. Fair enough. And there's also a beach and a waterfall down there, so we're going to take you to see Should that. Should we go to the beach and the waterfall? Yeah, but first, we have a little van life segment and we're going to have a nice cup of coffee in the van. Van life, van life in the... Van life! Van life, van life! Hiya, you oh, look, look who pressed his Hiya, buzzer! <laughs> Tonight, Matthew, <laughs> I'm going to be Pablo! <laughs> Come on! Come! Pabs! Mm. It's coming. Come on. This is a downside of the eco floor. We have to turn the the mains on as and when we need it because the inverter in it runs it down. So I keep turning it off. And when we're traveling, we just hide it in the back there. It's all clamped in so it don't rock around. So when Claire needs to make needs to make a drink because we need it, then I have to turn it on. Good job, I've got long arms. What's that? Dog's very thirsty. I'm very thirsty, how's the drink coming It's coming, on, it's coming, I need to just look after the dog before you. Is anybody else's van constantly a mess like this? This is organised I feel like we mess. need some more storage or something. I'm gonna put my walking boots on. I am, yeah. Because things are getting serious around these parts. We're in serious van life territory now, so... Not these. <laughs> we love our Crocs, don't we? Not been wearing them much, if I'm honest. I've had mine on this morning and last night. Problem I have with Crocs is, I think I might have mentioned this in previous videos, but I have like a little toe that sticks up like that and it goes through the holes, just the nail. It's not nice. It's really attractive. I've got more hair on my ears than Pablo's got on his feet. <laughs> these steroids are giving him ro roid rage. <laughs> Welcome to the inside of the van. Yeah. See, it's just hard. It's not called Walter White, it's Hayburn White. <laughs> oh, Richard White Lee. <laughs> I'm quite clever, you know. A little bit like opening scene of Jumanji, if you've seen that. 
<laughs> oh, I love Jumanji. Do you? Yeah. It's what great. with orange? <laughs> Gin and orange. <laughs> I don't get that well, anyway, it's quite nice in you. The people are getting lost. It's a little bit like where you go in with 20, the only one comes out at end. <laughs> this could be our Halloween edition. Goodbye. <laughs> could be Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Quite steep, isn't it? A little bridge and some sea. And there's a waterfall. This is where you all said that we're action, man. Well, this is where it happens. This is where the magic is. Easy. You okay there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Almost. There's some major pebble action going on. Look at Pablo. Anyway, look at that. What a beautiful waterfall. Not quite hard work to get to. It was. Whoa. Do you know what? Yeah. Next time, I'm gonna stick to rivers that we're used to. Not chasing these. <laughs> Waterfalls. I'm gonna sit on here. I like it. You don't want to put a tent down here, would you? No. Right, off we go. Too noisy. What? You're too noisy. You are. How are you liking our little tour? at the Robin Hood's Bay area. This is killing me, aren't we? Yeah. What about you? Yeah. The least you can do is give us a like, subscribe if you want. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment, I'll reply. Claire always replies. So if you've got no friends, I don't know about you guys, but I'm working up an appetite. What about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we found a nice secret place that only the locals know how to get mm. to. And we're going to have our sandwiches down there. The ones that you made? Oh yeah. The nation's favourite, ham and cheese. So let's move on. Oh yeah. I feel like the you art's know, gonna come out of its chest. It is raining. It's rocky. Rocky Balboa. Da -da -da. Oh, not bothered. Come on, Pads. Like another planet, isn't it? Yeah. Picked a bad day to come to Carnelian Bay. So this is the secret beach? Yeah. Um, I yeah. know why it's secret. Why? Nobody else to come here. Yes, to do. Look at it, it's terrible. Look, it's like Giant's Causeway, look at that. It's like a giant mess. So I take it you're not impressed when I brought you for your sandwich. No. No. Look at those colours Claire. If you're into geology this would be amazing. Are you into geology Claire? Come on, come on boys. Sandwich time, I'll get sandwiches I'll get out. I don't mind, I'll get them. Why don't you get in while it's raining? Yeah? Well, I'll just get these sandwiches. What? I don't know, I'll just get these sandwiches. Mm. Yep. Oh, sandwiches. For yours. Thank you. Mine. Oh, the door's a bit hot. Yeah, what's this in my sandwiches? 